The discovery of an ancient lake on Mars has generated great anticipation for the samples that will be collected by the Perseverance rover. Greetings to everyone. In today's video we will be discussing the recent scientific research published in Science Advances that provides evidence of an ancient lake on Mars. This study, conducted by UCLA and the University of Oslo, utilized radar imaging to uncover significant geological changes in the Jezero crater. The data revealed two distinct periods of sediment deposition separated by periods of erosion. These findings align with previous observations made from Mars images captured from space. Since 2021, the Perseverance rover has been diligently exploring this 30-mile wide crater, examining its geology, atmosphere and collecting samples in search of potential signs of past life. Without further delay, let us begin our discussion on this fascinating topic. The latest study, featured in the journal Science Advances, led by a collaboration between UCLA and the University of Oslo, presents compelling evidence that the crater underwent a transformation when it became inundated with water, resulting in the accumulation of sedimentary layers on the crater's bottom. Eventually, the lake receded, leaving behind a colossal delta formed by the sediments transported by the river that supplied the lake. As the lake gradually dissipated, the sediments within the crater underwent erosion, giving rise to the distinct geological characteristics that are now observable on the surface. Based on radar data, it is confirmed that the deposition and erosion processes occurred over extensive periods of time, aligning with the environmental changes that took place. This validates the accuracy of the inferences made about the geologic history of the Jezero crater using Mars images obtained from space. The various deposits are visible from our vantage point in orbit, yet it remains uncertain whether we are observing them in their pristine condition or witnessing the culmination of an extensive geological narrative, explained David Page, a distinguished professor at UCLA specializing in Earth, planetary and space sciences and the primary author of the research. In order to comprehend the formation processes of these phenomena, it is imperative that we gain insight into what lies beneath the surface. Since 2021, the rover has been diligently investigating the expansive crater, utilizing its seven scientific instruments to examine the geology and atmosphere while also gathering samples. This rover, comparable in size to an automobile, will have its soil and rock samples retrieved by a subsequent mission and meticulously analyzed on Earth in search of indications of prior existence. During the period of May to December 2022, the Perseverance rover successfully traversed from the floor of the crater onto the delta, a sprawling area consisting of ancient sediments dating back three billion years, which, when observed from space, bears a striking resemblance to the river deltas found on our planet. Upon reaching the delta, the rover deployed its RIMFAX instrument, which emitted radar waves in regular intervals of 10 centimetres and collected data on the echoes that bounced back from depths approximately 20 metres beneath the surface. This radar technology enables scientists to penetrate through the layers of sediment and uncover the exposed top layer of the crater floor that lies beneath. Through extensive research involving the use of ground-penetrating radar and the testing of RIMFAX on our planet, scientists have acquired the knowledge and expertise to decipher the makeup and arrangement of underground layers by analyzing the radar reflections. The outcome of this analysis produces a subsurface image that resembles the exposed layers of rocks seen in a road cut, allowing for interpretation and understanding. According to Page, the deputy principal investigator of RIMFAX, there are geologists who argue that radar's capability to penetrate beneath the surface is akin to gaining an unfair advantage. Through the utilization of RIMFAX imaging, it was discovered that there were two notable instances of sediment accumulation separated by periods of erosion. Findings from UCLA and the University of Oslo indicate that the floor of the crater beneath the delta is not uniformly level, indicating a period of erosion that transpired prior to the deposition of the lake sediments. The radar images exhibit a consistent and horizontal pattern in the sediments, mirroring the sedimentary deposits found in earthly lakes. 
While the presence of lake sediments had been hypothesized in earlier studies, this research has now definitively confirmed their existence. During a subsequent phase of deposition, variations in the lake level enabled the river to deposit a wide delta that formerly extended significantly into the lake, but has since eroded closer to the mouth of the river. Page noted that the alterations observed in the rock record are a result of significant shifts in the Martian surroundings. It is fascinating to witness a plethora of evidence showcasing transformation within a limited geographical expanse, enabling us to extrapolate our discoveries to encompass the entirety of the crater. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.